we ask you to take us back in time and talk about your early days of training. What would you tell the viewers? Wow. Um, stick with it. You have to uh, persevere. Uh, one thing I learned at the beginning was that you don't get to practice or wrestle in a ring. Mm -hmm. You earn that right. So you'll be on mats for months until your coach says you're ready to go in the ring. Just because you go and pay your money to take your classes, it doesn't give you the right to get in that ring because so many greats, legends, uh, superstars uh, have graced the squared circle. Mm -hmm. uh, my first company that I started training with was Northern Championship mm -hmm. Wrestling out of Montreal. Uh, mm -hmm. And you, you pay your dues. So we get there in the afternoon, we put up the chairs, we set up the ring. Uh, mm -hmm. If we get some practice time, uh, the coach will go through some things. Then once the wrestlers who are on the show, who have earned that right, then they get the ring to work mm -hmm. on some things that they want to do for that night's performance. Then we get to watch the show. Uh, we could be security guards if they need us to, to get things, get mm -hmm. hot dogs, whatever. That was our job also. And then when the show is over, we're the ones to take down the ring, take down the chairs, um, and if, if anything, if we got another practice afterwards, that was great. And sometimes we'd leave at 2 in the morning uh, because we just couldn't get enough. Um, that, was a, that was one thing. For the shows, I was always excited because that meant I was going to get to practice in the ring when I earned that spot. Uh, but the amount of bumps and wrestling a bump is basically when you take a fall from mm -hmm. a move. The amount of bumps that I took on mats, I'd say over a thousand before I got, I deserved to be in the ring. Mm -hmm. uh, and it all paid off. Because you see when people have skipped a couple steps and have, oh, we need a, we're short of a guy, this guy got hurt, you're in. Mm -hmm. You see the lack of experience. So the nine months that I had of bumping, of putting up the ring, of training, training on my own also, mm -hmm. going to the gym and lifting weights. Because it's not, all, it's not enough to know the moves, you have to look the part. Yes. And um, some guys look bigger and more, uh, you know, genetically they look supernatural. Huger which than others. Yeah. And you know, I'm not, uh, I, I'm not a over six feet. I'm not a giant, but so I have to compensate. Uh, I have to use what I have. So I use my entertainment value. The, the sometimes some wrestlers forget to use. Use the crowd, mm -hmm. interact with them, so that they feel what you're feeling and that they can enjoy. Mm -hmm your performance. So I capitalized on that. Do you have any special uh, fitness routine to just uh, to follow? We spoke about the training, the hard days. Um, I, I think it's important, like I said, to look the part. So you do need um, a good circuit for muscular training. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got to do cardio too. It's very important because um, not only in the moves that could make you tired, there's mm -hmm. the lights and there's the, um, the interaction with the crowd. Mm -hmm. For me, that takes the most energy out oh, of me, yes, is, of course. is getting it's the crowd like, involved. Yeah. And, uh, and one of my favorite um, workouts, usually it involves more the hip and the butt because my butt makes my money for me, right? You know, <laughs> Let's be honest, right? I'm, I'm sexy Eddie, so I have to play the role here. I have to look yes. good. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not from anywhere. I'm from very Long Beach, California. It's very important. So I have to look the part. And um, so uh, I like to involve in my, in my routines, like I said, the weights, cardio, good eating, but also uh, be surrounded by beautiful women so I can exercise all the right muscles that I need to be number one in the sport. Who was your favorite opponent to work with? That's a very good question. Throughout the years of wrestling. Um, the ones I guess that I've wrestled more than one occasion uh -huh. because it gave me the chance to try new things with them. Hey, we did this the last time. What if we try this or this? Or you learn his, like you know some of his moves so you know how he'll attack you. So it gives you also the chance to block and counter mm -hmm. uh, to, some, to make more creative uh, matches. Um, like as if you studied your your opponent. Then. Yeah, it's 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 almost a physical game of chess, mm -hmm. where you have to be ahead of your opponent a few moves, so that way you can overcome him. 
You have to know, study your opponent. You just go in there, um, if they send you out to the wolves and you don't know who you're fighting and yeah. you know what, if they study their work on you, then that's, that's how it is. But um, some of the opponents that I really enjoyed working with, uh, you've had them on your, on your uh, episode three, mm -hmm. uh, Jeremy Prophet. Uh, I got to see him start out as a, as a skinny little kid and uh, learn that, uh, hey, you got to get out of the gym. You've got to wrestle in as many places as possible. And he got better. He, um, his head is like a sponge. Uh -huh. And um, he absorbs everything wrestling. And so it was very good to work with him throughout his stages of development to see the improvement. Mm -hmm. So I liked working with him, and we got to work a lot of different places, a lot of different promotions, and so it was fun to try different things in front of different crowds. Um, XS is another guy that um, was uh, one of my favorite opponents. Mm -hmm. We got to do um, four ways, three way triple threat matches, ladder match, first blood match, hardcore matches. We've mm -hmm. done almost everything, which was good. Because to be a complete wrestler, I believe that you have to uh, be able to use all the tools. It's not just a one man against one man. Sometimes, you know what, you got to take it to the next level. Uh, you know, you got a tag team partner. There's ladders involved in the match. Mm -hmm. There could be barbed wire and lights. And you know what, you have to use everything at hand to overcome your opponents. Um, and he's in one of my, uh, he's my, my favorite matches. Mm -hmm. Um, was at the IWS, inter, uh, International Wrestling Syndicate. Uh, it was the first company that they gave me their heavyweight championship because they saw the potential in me, the marketability. Mm -hmm. uh, I wrestled him at uh, un and Sanctioned in 2005, I believe, and um, it was one of my favorite matches. It went back and forth. We were very equal, very different styles, but equal in... Um, and say in size and in quickness and what built this match and our feud which like I said it kept going and this stipulation for the match this stipulation for mm -hmm. the match what made that so interesting was the promos that we shot mm -hmm. that built it up uh, and one of my like I said that was one of my favorite matches um, and then in our Philadelphia too our first time wrestling <clears throat> in Philadelphia where the Delaware the ble blessing in disguise yeah. with the blood opened some doors and got us a, cha a chance to wrestle in Philadelphia where it was four of us. It's myself, XS, uh, Mr. Wrestling Kevin Steen, and El Generico. Uh, it gave us a chance, of, they gave us a four way. They said, We're going to give you a Canadian four way. Do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Do what makes you, do it, do the best that you can do that, that has brought you this far. Because people saw me bleed and they said, Ah, He's just, uh, he's just a flash in the pan. He's just a guy that can bleed. That's all he is. He wrestles in underwear and bleeds. Let's see if he can really wrestle. So with no weapons. And they put us in that match. And again, um, the, the roof of the venue, of uh, it was the old ECW arena, mm -hmm. uh, erupted. Um, even with the sound of my music just starting, like I tell you about wrestling fans, I have a lot of respect for wrestlers. Mm -hmm. the, my music hit. Everyone was standing on their feet because they knew that's the guy that bled for us. That's the guy that in his first first appearance for us, for our company, he bled and he bled, he sweat, uh, and he gave us his everything. So they respected me and that was a feeling, that was my favorite feeling in wrestling, was that one right there. Going through the curtains and I had goosebumps all over wow. my body. I was so nervous and I felt the pressure. And the other guys, too, it was their first time. The tension in the air was like... They knew that we got to impress them tonight. Like, we're not... People aren't just going to... whatever. They're not going to take anything. Mm -hmm. They want to see what brought us to the game. They want to see what, why we deserve our spot mm -hmm. in this company. They want to see why we deserve to be called wrestlers. And we gave it to them. 